This question asks us to determine the altered boiling temperature and freezing temperatures for one molal solutions of both sodium chloride and glucose. In order to solve these problems, we'll need to use the following equations. To determine the change of the freezing temperature, we'll calculate by multiplying Kf by the molality multiplied by something called the I value. This equation we'll be using in order to calculate the change in the boiling temperature of water. Let's consider the change in the freezing temperature and boiling temperatures for the salt solution in water. To calculate the change in freezing temperature for a solution of water that contains sodium chloride, we'll need to use the equation delta Tf equals Kfmi. Kf is equal to negative 1.86 degrees Celsius. This is divided by molality. We'll multiply this by the molality of the solution, which is 1. Then we need to multiply this by the I value. The I value is telling us how many dissolved particles are created when sodium chloride dissolves in water. When sodium chloride dissolves in water, we actually wind up with two ions in solution. We wind up with a sodium ion and we wind up with a chloride ion. So for every one formula unit of sodium chloride which is dissolving, we actually wind up with two dissolved particles. So our I value for this problem will be two. We'll calculate a change in the freezing temperature of negative 3.72 degrees Celsius. Because the normal freezing temperature for water is zero degrees Celsius, this will also be the depressed freezing temperature. To calculate the new boiling temperature for the salt solution, we'll need to use this equation, delta Tb equals KBMI. We're going to set this up pretty much just like what we did with the freezing temperature depression. Uh, what's changing? The only thing that changes is we're using Kb instead of Kf. We've calculated our change in the boiling temperature. It worked out to be 1.024 degrees Celsius. This is not actually the new boiling temperature. Let's think about this. 1.024 degrees Celsius is actually pretty cold. What we've calculated here is the change in boiling temperature. We'll need to add this to the normal boiling temperature of 100 degrees Celsius in order to determine the actual boiling temperature of this salt water solution. When we consider how a solution of glucose will change the boiling temperature, we need to keep in mind what happens as molecular compounds dissolve in water. So here's a model representing a glucose molecule. Now if I have a solid sample of glucose, I would have lots and lots and lots of these all clumping together, being held together by hydrogen bonds. When they dissolve, it's uh, not the case that this molecule is going to be broken apart. It's just going to be pulled apart from the other glucose molecules. So when this dissolves, uh, one glucose molecule is going to create one dissolved particle. So the I value that we use when calculating freezing point depression or boiling point elevation for any molecular compound will always be one. What I inserted one for the I value in our freezing portion of this problem, I determined a change in temperature of negative 1.86 degrees Celsius. Again, because the normal freezing temperature of water is zero, this will also be the new freezing temperature. Inserting an I value of one in the boiling portion of the problem produces a change in boiling of 0.512 degrees Celsius, meaning the elevated boiling temperature will be 100.512 degrees Celsius.